Have you ever challenged your math teacher with a very difficult calculation or even with a mental calculation which you gave them they had to work out in their head without a calculator? Or have you even made a diss track on your math teacher just like my student did about two years ago? Well, there are different ways you can challenge your math teacher and one of the best ways to challenge your math teacher is by giving them a calculation to do without a calculator. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to become a math genius and how to do calculations in your head within seconds without a calculator. And trust me, you can challenge your friends, your math teacher, anyone with this sort of calculation and they'll be just amazed by it. Now in this series of videos, I'll be showing you how to do mental calculations within seconds without a calculator. And this video is going to be about multiplying any two digit number by 11. So this is a two part video by multiplying it by 11. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to find out the second part of this video. Now let's go ahead and have a look at some questions. So say for example, I want to multiply 11 by 12. Now this is probably a straightforward question and you can probably do it in your head or you might know your time tables. So 11 times by 12, okay, you know it, 132. Now if I was to do it with the method I'm going to show you, then listen carefully. How about have a go at this one? 11 times by 52. I'm going to count 3, 2, 1. Can you give me the answer? You're still thinking, aren't you? Well, that's not quick enough. And I'll show you what the answer is. And I already know the answer, which is 572. And how did I do this? Well, I'll tell you now. Now, what I did is I added these two digits, 5 and 2. So I added 5 and 2 which gave me 7. And all I did was to place the 7 between 5 and 2. And my answer is 572. And you can do this within seconds, 2 seconds maximum maybe. So let's try another example. 11 times by 81, what's the answer? 3, 2, 1. You're still thinking again. But anyway, I'll tell you what to do. Put the 8 and 1 in two sides and add 8 and 1 together, that gives you 891. As simple as that. Let's try one more. Now this time, I want you to think about this in your head. What I want you to do is add the 5 and 3. Okay, you got the number. Now place that number between 5 and 3. What number do you have? Do you have 583? Well done. You got it right. So let's try one more. So add 7 and 2 and place the number between 7 and 2. Do you have 792? Yes, well done. Let's try one more. 11 times by 42. Okay, you got it right this time. You're going quick at this now. 462. Here's another one. Ooh, you got the answer already, 396. Okay, brilliant. So you're adding these two numbers and placing it in between these two digits. Now, if you notice, all the examples that we've done now, they only add up to less than 10. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you what to do if the two digits add up to more than 10. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to challenge your math teacher, go ahead and challenge them. And if you like this video, please do like it and let me know in the comments what other maths tricks you want to learn. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths. And also don't forget to let me know how your maths teacher found it.